The booming mating call of male American bullfrog on a warm summer night is music to Chris Rombo's ears. Rombo of St. Helens has had a lifelong interest in bullfrogs. He grew up with them in eastern Oregon, and now, as a herpetologist consultant, he gets paid for pursuing the amphibians for research. As the owner of Rombo Biological, he recently went out on a scouting and fact-finding tour of Willamette Valley Ponds. So this is a bullfrog tadpole. You can identify it as a bullfrog because of the large size. It's got an olive green back with black speckles, and it's got a creamy yellow colored belly. Now tadpoles here take two years to transform. So they're laid as eggs, and then they overwinter at least once before they turn into a frog. This tadpole will get to be that long before he transforms into a bullfrog. But the tadpole will swim around the pond and eat algae. It gets to about six inches total length. It's a big tadpole. And then it transforms into a juvenile bullfrog. Juvenile bullfrogs are about an inch to two inches long. They're bright green and they hang out around the edges of ponds. And you walk by the pond and they jump in, they give an alarm call. They go, eep. You walk by and you're, eep. So it takes bullfrogs several years to get to their full adult size. At that point, they'll get a weight of probably a pound. They turn a green or brownish color. The males have a green head and a kind of a brownish body, and the females are bright green on top with kind of a dark brown modeling on them. Bullfrogs' preferred habitat is anywhere that's got permanent water and a lot of aquatic plants. They like water that's warm and that's not flowing. Bullfrogs uh, eat pretty much anything that's smaller than they are, and it moves. That's their criteria. It's got to move, and it can fit in my mouth. They'll eat insects, crawdads, birds, mice, other frogs, snakes, small turtles. They'll go near anything that they can get a hold of and cram in their mouth. Conversely, if it's bigger than they are, they'll try to escape from it. Bullfrogs have been in Oregon so long that most people think they are native. But introduced in the early 20th century, they are a non-native invasive that has put a huge dent in Oregon's native frog and turtle populations. American bullfrogs, when you grab them, they'll play possum. When they know you have grabbed them, they'll be limp. I'm going to turn him over. I'm going to turn this guy over. Look at this. He's limp. Cooperate with me, buddy. He's limp. He's like, oh, he's got me. I'm screwed. He plays dead. But the second you loosen your grip, he's out of there. Rombo's interest in bullfrogs is more than academic. In addition to studying them, he rates frog legs as some of the best eating to come out of a pond. Rombo said bullfrogs are here to stay. Humans introduced them originally and spread them throughout the Willamette Valley as a sport and food item. Now we're changing the ecosystem to favor the invaders over the natives. Control of bullfrogs rather than elimination seems to be the hardy amphibian's future, Rombo said. There is a hotline for the public to use to alert state officials to any unusual plants, insects, or animals.